Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about a new feature in Roblox, and the new feature is called Scale Factor for Models. This feature is still a beta feature, so we're first going to have to enable it. Let's go to File, Beta Features. We're going to look for Scale Factor. Scale Factor for Models. Check that box, click Save, Restart. Our scale factor for models has been enabled in our Roblox Studio. So now we can get to work. Let's go to the Avatar tab. We're going to click on Rig Builder R6 Block Rig. And here is our dummy. I'm going to go to the dummy. I'm going to look for the humanoid root part. And I'm going to unanchor that part. Now, if you select your dummy, and you go to the properties window, scroll down to the pivot section. Let me go down a little bit more, make sure you see it. So to the, the pivot section here, you should see um, a scale property. So that one is new. So currently the default is one. If I want to multiply the, the size of the dummy by two, I'm going to click on this, put two in it, hit enter. The dummy size has been multiplied by two. If I want to multiply it by five, I just put five in here. And now it's huge. I want the dummy to be half the size of its original size. I'm going to put in 0.5. And now it's half the size. Let me move the dummy over here. The next thing I want to do is I want to see if we can use script to do the same exact thing as we just did. So let's go to the dummy. We're going to add a script in our script. Just put in the following lines. So I'm declaring the dummy. I'm waiting for eight seconds. And then I have a for loop, which is going to do it. Uh, it's going to repeat this code here 10 times. Each time I'm scaling, I'm changing the, uh, the dummy scale property. Um, well, I'm setting the dummy scale property to I. So uh, first iteration is going to be one, and then it's going to be two, three, four, uh, all the way to 10. Let's see if that works. All right, so let me look for my dummy and give it about eight seconds. Also, I want to open up my output window just in case we have any error message in there. And there it is, there, there is an error message in there. Scale is not a valid member of model workspace dummy. So that did not work. We cannot use dummy.scale to change the scale property of the dummy. Instead of changing the scale property of the dummy directly, Roblox has provided an API for us to use, and it is called scale2. So here we're going to say part colon scale2i. So basically, uh, the first iteration, our dummy, the size of the dummy is going to be 1, and then eventually it's going to go 2, 3, 4, all the way through 10. And remember, we start out with the scale of 0.5. All right, let's play and take a look. There's our dummy, and it's growing. That's three, four, five. Let me close this window. Wow, it's getting really big. And it should stop when it reaches 10. I believe that's 10 ray and it has stopped. Let's go to the workspace, see if we can see it. I'm gonna expand the workspace, click on the dummy, go to the properties, and check it out, scale is 10. Before we end today's tutorial, I just wanna show you another API that is available in case you wanna use it, and it is called get scale. So for example, I wanna get the current scale of my dummy. I can say port colon get scale and let's say if I want to double the size of the dummy each time I go through this for loop, I can say get scale multiplied by two. All right, so basically we're changing the scale of the dummy to this new value. And the new value is the current size multiplied by two. And we can reduce this one back to six because we don't want to make the dummy too large. Let's play and take a look. Let me go and look for the dummy, and there it is. 
So that right now it's 0.5, then it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, that's 32, I, I suppose, and it's really large. There are also other things that you can do with this new beta feature that we're not going to cover today. So if you like, you can Google search for Roblox scale factor for models to get more information. That's our tutorial for today. We will see you guys in our next tutorial. Take care.